tonight, so in less than 12 hours time, we are going to be getting the new mid-month banner, which in this case is the Aronka summon featuring a new Tesla, Abirama, and also Ilfo. Now, this is going to be the usual before you summon, just letting you guys know everything you need to know regarding the three new characters and also the other fillers in this particular banner. But right from the get-go, of course, I do want to emphasize that this isn't really a banner you want to be summoning on. The three characters themselves, while they are actually pretty good, I think for mid-month characters, they aren't too bad. Then also, as always, characters you want to pick up later down the line from your summon ticket or maybe in a future banner when they're fillers. I wouldn't really recommend going down to zero or even summoning on this banner, maybe past the discounts. As of right now, of course, you should be saving for the more limited banners like Thousand Year Blood Wars, Spirits Half, Everview, and the eventual Burn the Witch banner, which could be coming out within like the next three or so months. So summoning on a premium banner, especially where the free premium characters themselves aren't really anything like super, super amazing, isn't really the smartest thing to do with your orbs. The only people I think would actually summon on this banner are people like me, content creators, just to try and get the characters, and also those that actually really like the characters. I did see quite a few people excited for these three characters, so if you like the characters, by all means, go ahead and summon for them. But for those that are trying to keep it safe with their orb count, this is a banner that, of course, you should be skipping. But with that said, let's talk about the new characters and highlight some of the value they will bring to your account if you do potentially pull them later down the line from tickets, or you maybe get lucky on your first or second discounted step. So have a look at the availability date the banner itself will be available tomorrow morning and will be lasting until the 27th of march the second this banner does leave is the second we get the end of month banner announcement while this banner is available we should be getting a brave selection banner it's on your screen right now obviously thousand year blood War just returned i would more so recommend you summon on that banner over this and we could potentially get a christmas rerun with yodawichi and also halibel as for the banner itself since it is the aranka summons it only features arankas Except for the fact that Retsu and Orihime are there. They are super out of place, but unironically, they are the better characters to pull here. So having a look at the three new characters, first up, we have Ilford. This character, unironically, is one of the better characters in the game when it comes to farming Link Slot Potions. The whole idea of this character is that he wants to be used in epic raids, and he also wants to be paired along characters like CS Grimjow and also himself. And the reason for that is because he's the second character in the game to have the Aranka Resonance skill, where every time you have another Aranka in your lobby, you get 10% more strong attack damage. Now, a character like the renewed version of Ogura had this skill, but it was rare for him to get paired with a Ronkas in the content he wants to be used in. However, in this case, for the idea of farming Link's or Potions, you will get Ilfort joining your lobby, you will especially get Grimjows joining your lobby, and they're going to pair well together buffing each other's attacks. If you're the only Ilfort in the lobby, but you have five Grimjows, boom, you're getting 60% extra strong attack damage. At the same time, you also buff characters like Grimjows strong attack damage by 20%, and also allow yourself and again other Ronkas to do 40% more damage to any enemy afflicted by an ailment. With that, in addition to the fact the character has a 40% Berserker with Frenzy plus one, honestly, he isn't going to be quite bad. For his innate skills, he does come with read all affiliation dodges and also a 20% stun recovery. Not really that useful. The old dodges might be good for a certain scroll quests, and that's really about it. But the team party heal is kind of wasted on this character because, again, ideally you are going to be using the epic raids. So outside of epic raids, this character is okay. Just average, doesn't have havoc, nothing really super special about him. But in epic raids, he is going to be a really good Link Slot character. As of right now, I would say he's the second best Link Slot character for the technique attribute. And again, I really like that he pairs quite well with someone that's often using epic raids, that being the Kakao Society version of Grimjow. After that, though, we have Abiramo, a new Abiramo. Rama designed for guild quests. And if I had a nickel for every time that happened, I would have two, which isn't a lot, but it's very strange it's happened twice, especially in the last year. Abby Rama himself is a melee captain killer with a 30% no attack damage soul traits which is really good for the mind attribute if you want to have that. Pair that with someone like Fierce Battle Byakuya and from two links alone, they get 60% extra normal attack damage. As for his skills, he comes with Weaken and Paralysis Immunity and has a very high damage output thanks to his Flurry Plus 1, 40% Bruiser. And keep in mind, remember, he does have the 30% normal attack damage soul trait, but Abirama also has damage to enemies not afflicted by an element plus 100%, 50% more killer effect in guild quests, and also 30% more melee damage in guild quests. So in and out of guild quests, he's going to be hitting very hard. Has some fun visuals, if I say so myself, I'm really liking his soul bomb. But the main purpose of the character, of course, is to be used in the Captain Melee guild quest. If you are struggling for that particular guild quest and you need a good support, this Abirama alone will basically carry it for you. Since he was given start barrier plus 10, it ensures that if you give him any extra full stamina damage abilities, he will be able to keep that, assuming you can keep him safe after those 10 barriers wear off. And since he was 
Because given God Break, you could technically use him outside of Guild Quest. But I don't think many people are going to do that. He's mainly going to be a Guild Quest coward dumb, and that's not really too bad. As far as melee captains do go, he's actually quite good. You can pair him with someone like Chad, and they're both going to be hitting very hard, especially when you don't inflict the status on them. And then lastly, we have Tesla, a Heart Hollow Killer, which is a character that we've been waiting for a very, very long time, but unfortunately, he isn't really the answer for that. Tesla, in a way, is going to be the Jack of all trades, but Master of None type of character, and by that, he comes with a 30% Mind Droplet drop rate plus 30% Soul trait. Really good if you want to just give that to another character to get more droplets. But looking at his actual skills when it comes to farming abilities, he also gives you extra coins, extra mind links or potions, and also extra crystal and jewels. So essentially, ignoring super links or potions, he is a character that kind of farms everything. However, for many people out there, that isn't really that impressive anymore. Most of these materials do come quite easy. It is nice though that he is a mind links or character, so you can use him in epic raids, and his damage output's going to be okay. 40% Berserker with Frenzy plus one, and can do 60% more damage to lacerated enemies. He's not a bad character if you want to use him in epic raids, especially when there is a hollow epic raid boss, but there's a lot of competition in the heart attribute, so he's not really going to have a time to shine, in my opinion. He's a decent character to have if you are a new account that is going to help you farm those droplets, crystals, jewels, coins, links, or potions, but for the most part, will be quickly replaceable. As for the rest of the characters, though, quickly breaking them down, Red Suit is going to be a Media Sparta killer designed for the Media Sparta guild quest. She's kind of cool because she can paralyze and also heal a team. It's actually not too bad, and she can get some extra usage in Arena. Orohime is a 30% false damage damage soul trait. That's the main thing about her. She has a high damage output. She actually was able to clear the test play, so her damage output isn't really too bad, but she doesn't really have much going for her. You're not really given a reason to use her unless you really like Orohime. Stark is quite outdated, but can be a decent side in the Quincy Killer Guild Quest, and also it mainly has a stage in Senkamon if you want to use him in the Iceberg of Perseverance. Barragon, once more very similar to Retsu, is another character designed for the Media Sparta Guild Quest. In his case, he's a decently, nothing super special, way better characters out there. More so shines if you have a good side and you have a max transcend. Grimjow, decently usable SP character, nothing super special, but does get better in Arena. And Zapro is quite mediocre, and he's just mainly a crystal character. That's basically about it. So that's the banner. The banner itself mainly features five good characters, that being Ilfo all the way to Orihime. But again, most of these characters, all these characters, in fact, are premium, and none of them are super amazing. I wouldn't recommend summoning on this banner. The most I would recommend, and what I'm doing personally, is the two discounted steps. Because if you look here, step 1, 6, 11, 16, and 21 are discounted 100 the ups, while step 2, 7, 12, 17, and 22 are discounted at 200 orbs. While the three new characters offer some value, Abby Rama in Guild Quest, Ill 4 in Epic Raids, and Tesla, I guess, for Droplets, Crystals, Jewels, Coins, for example, there are characters out there that do what they do, so it's not really a must-have, right? As already mentioned, these are most of the characters you want to get later on down the line as fillers or from tickets. If you get them from there, it's a W. The potential spending upwards to thousands of orbs for these characters, unless you're their biggest fan, again, I wouldn't really recommend it. But with that said, that's basically the breakdown for the new Aranka summons. In my case, as already mentioned, I will be doing two steps, just a discount to try and test my luck here. I do want to try and pick up all of these three characters, or at least one of them. And at the same time, I'm also missing Retsu and Orihime, and I wouldn't mind picking them up for two from the discounted steps. Any more than that, though, yeah, probably not. Even though both my counts have upwards to like 15,000 plus orbs, yeah, I'm going to save that for a better banner and a more exciting one. But with that said, let me know your summon plan in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, and peace.